Hello and welcome to the Life In And Out broadcast. I am so excited. I am live on location here at Love and Faith um, Community Church. I am so excited. My God, where the pastor is none other than Pastor Lamar Simmons. Yay! Woo That's my brother, my friend, but he has opened up the doors here at Love and Faith Church for us to come in and talk about some very relevant topics. So today, sit back and relax. You may not be able to relax, but you know, do what you do. But we're going to have fun here on today. I have some guests with me. First of all, I want to introduce you to uh, Pastor Lamar. You know, this is Pastor Lamar. Welcome, Pastor hey, Lamar, Pastor yeah. to the How Life in and Out broadcast. Thanks for having me. Glad oh, to yes. have you all here on yes. our campus. Yes, I love this. Thank it's you. It's amazing. I said, this man running a tight ship over here. Oh, we don't know how My tight the God. ship is, but we know it's a ship. Hey, well, it's good. <laughs> Yes, and then we have Pastor Clarence Jackson, my brother, my classmate, who just launched a brand new ministry right here in Tallahassee, Florida. It's the Destiny Center. Pastor Clarence, you know, thank you so much for, for joining me today. Why don't you tell our uh, viewing audience about your new ministry? Um, the Destiny Center Tallahassee is an awesome new ministry that we've launched at uh, 2640 Old Bainbridge Road, We're a place where purpose meets opportunity. And so when you're not at love and faith, come over and see about us. Yes, awesome, awesome, awesome. God is doing some great things. Then I have my sister, my covenant sister over here. This is the, the Peter of the bunch. I tell you, you get your ear cut off with this girl here. I love her. I love having her on my side, y'all. <laughs> but we have Miss Shay Alexander. Shay is a minister. Shay is an attorney. This girl, I, I'm telling she yes. Um, I'm going to let her just share a little bit about what she does. She, she wears several hats. Um, well, I'm Sister Shay, and I am the president and founder and, you know, HNIC of Shay Alexander Ministries and uh, radio host of, of the uh, great Heaven 1410 AM and a member of Life Church, um, where Pastor Gregory James is the pastor. And uh, my bishop is George Bloomer. Yes, yes, yes. And yes, this is my covenant sister. And uh, God is working on me. I'm trying to, to put down Peter and become Apostle Peter. Oh, my so, God. Uh, yes. My God. Well, wait a minute, Shay. I might need you a little. Oh, just, just hold okay. up. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> But we're just excited to be here um, on today because we have some very relevant issues. And this show was basically, it was inspired by um, the Pastors Roundtable from Heaven 1410 AM. We thank God for them. But Pastor Lamar Simmons, he's, he, he, him and Pastor Judy Mandrell actually head up the Pastors Roundtable and she's on vacation. So Pastor Judy, you know, I, I hope you're having a great time because when you come back, it's on, okay? <laughs> but Pastor Lamar, today, um, we want to talk about this subject of being um, current and consecrated. Can, is it possible for you to be current and consecrated? It, it, it is possible, but it is by the measure of uh, what you consider consecrated. And each person measures from a different mark I'm learning now. Okay. I grew up uh, starch Pentecostal and starch AME. Mm. So either side, you didn't have too much of a choice in what you got to do uh, back in the Carolinas. We were just uh, different in that, in that light. But as I started pastoring, mm -hmm. most people don't know, uh, my church is kind of known for being a young church or, or a cutting edge church, but I started a very Pentecostal preacher a pastor. So when I started pastoring the first two, three years, men didn't have dreads in their hair. You know, women didn't wear pants to church. That, you know, there was just, I was still holding on to that old, what I learned. But then when I started dealing with people one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. 
and realizing the person I had judged for looking unholy was more holy than the person I didn't judge that did look holy. My God. You see what I'm saying? They had a closer walk with God. Uh, You know, her skirt was higher, but this girl really loves God. Uh, You know, and vice versa. Those are just, you know, some of the scenarios. Mm -hmm. But it is not easy. It is a balance. And Bishop can take, it's a balance to remain current as the church, but also to remain consecrated Consecrated. and it is a balance it is not easy and that's what we're we're here to talk about and engage so that we don't send somebody to hell for using a certain type of bait because if they're trying to grab that type of soul they've got to use that type of bait exactly i like that That, that's good you you blessed me i'm (laughs) telling you well yesterday um i interviewed uh, my bishop bishop bloomer and we talked about um being current and consecrated because i asked him i wanted to get his view on that and he said um this is what he told me he said basically um it's almost impossible to be consecrated and not be current because what God is doing, he's doing it right now. And he says, the principle stays the same. The word is the same powerful word, but the method changes. And we got to do what, and like you said, the balance. What is it that God is telling us to do right now? And one thing that, that we, we had to define what uh, consecrated really means, Shay. What does that mean? That means set apart to be used by God. You know, you're, you're not in the mix. You, you see, you, you may look like the mix, but you're not in the mix because you know what? I'm over here and I'm getting ready to be used for, for something. So um, that's what I got from that. So you, you just, you blessed us with that. You, you blessed me with that. So we're, we're going we're gonna to go around. Um, Pastor Jackson, wh- what's your take on, on this being current and actually uh, drawing in this new generation, basically? Pastor, Pastor Simmons used a, a term, uh, balance, mm-hmm. that, that is so powerful. And we got to make sure that in the church we have a balance. A lot of us have become too worldly Mm -hmm. to have an impact in the church. And then some of us have become too churchy to have an impact in the world. There has to be a balance there. And even though we know we're in the world and not of the world, we have to understand that that we have to find some type of common ground with the world in order to have an impact with them. And and one example of that is in John 4 when Jesus is at the well and he meets this woman. He doesn't walk up to her talking about scripture. He doesn't walk up to her and he doesn't pray for her. He walks up to her and he addresses a common need that they both have, which was, I'm thirsty, can I have some water? So it's very important that, that as, as we run toward holiness, and all of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God, but as we strive toward holiness, that we don't lose sight of where we've been so that we might reach those who are lost. God, thank you so much. That's awesome, Pastor. That is awesome because if we don't have balance, there's no growth. How can you grow when you you steady sitting in the same spot? You know, you, you because you see it one way, you're not even open to see where I come from. You know, you don't understand what I've gone through. You know, I didn't. I, I grew up, and I'm going to be honest with you. I grew up in straight up Church of God in Christ, and pe- a lot of people don't know that. Bishop E.L. Shepherd. I, I, I mean, so I know about holiness and what well, you, you're not wearing no pants up in that church, you know? <laughs> but as I grew, I saw where the balance was. But what I had to do was I had to go all the way on the other side to almost fell off. Like I went straight world. I mean, I kicked the door in. You hear me? Of the world. <laughs> then I came back in a little bit. So now I'm more effective. Because I understand where people come from, and I know the other side as well. But you have to have balance. So that's a key word up here on today, balance. Shay, what's your take on this whole current and consecrated? Well, um, I got saved when I was seven years old Mm -hmm. under a tent. Mm -hmm. And um, I grew up in the, I like to say it like this, the sanctified, sanctified, we most sanctified in everybody's church. Okay, okay. We were those Chapel caps, that's what they call them. A lot of people call them doilies, that we could not go to church without the things on our heads. No. Could wear pants, uh, jewelry, uh, no makeup, couldn't color your hair. Unless your hair was going gray, then God lets you do that. Then you can color it black. Wow. Wow. Yeah, religious people. 
Um, and so uh, what happened was, um, and, 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 and even at a young age, I always wanted to please God. Always wanted to please God. But I found out that I was always falling short because I couldn't be that holy. I, I'm a child. I want to I wanna, I wanna put on some jeans. Right. And I want to go to the movies. Uh -huh. And so then it's the, uh, you feel that it's the decision that you make, do I, do I be a child or do I please God? And then you begin to resent God for, for a standard that he never put on me. Ooh, say it. He never did oh that to God, me. You did good. that to me. So then that's why I am the Shea I am now. Um, because when I finally began to come into my own, uh, through that process, we talked about this a little bit last night. I was in the Nation of Islam and then started saying, well, shoot, they saying the Bible wrong and people saying the Quran is wrong. Well, maybe God isn't, re isn't real. Mm -hmm. um, but then I came to know him for myself mm -hmm. and I realized that he would talk to me if I had on some lipstick. Wow. Wow. That he still visited me mm. with the pants on. My God. And so, um, and, and, and the standard of holiness just changed. And the, my final point that I want to make in, um, before we go on is that I was thinking on the way over here. Jesus said to the disciples, and Peter mostly, isn't that ironic? Peter? That's ironic. <laughs> he said, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Um, he, uh, my dad was a an avid fisherman, mm -hmm. and I was kind of a tomboy, so I would go, and I was a daddy's girl, so uh -huh. I would go fish with him. And so when he was uh, uh, fishing for mullet, mm -hmm. he would use this uh, little concoction, uh -huh. throw it in the water, and that would, you know, attract the mullet. Okay. But if he was fishing for bass, he used a different kind of bait. So the kind of bait that you use is contingent upon... Uh what pond you're fishing in. Yes. And, and, and here's the thing. Um, everybody's not going to, to, to do hip hop in their church because that's not your assignment. Your assignment, uh, if you are, if your demographic is uh, married people with children or, or grandchildren, um, they're not going to do the Harlem Shake. That's cool. That, your, that, that's your assignment. But if your assignment, if, if you see Past, like Pastor Lamar, that you have mostly young people, we can't come in here singing Swing Low, Sweet Chariot wow. and think that that is going to, to, to keep them connected. Not that we try to use gimmicks to get them, but find your way of connection to God. And it's not always <laughs> what we, and final point, what we have to be careful of is, well, you know, the Lord told me uh, to take my earrings off. And we want to take it and make everybody else stop having God. fun because God told us something. That's and so, awesome. Right. So, you know, we, we have to be careful. My relationship with God is personal. Mm -hmm. And we have to be very, very careful that we don't kill people because they don't worship God the way that we do. My God. That's an awesome point, Shay. My God. This is good. Oh, I feel, I feel this thing, boy. God, I don't think I ever did a little dance like that before on the show. But you know what? We got to take a short break. And when we come back, we're going to hear more from Pastor Lamar, from Pastor Jackson, and, and from Sister Shay. Stay tuned. This edition of Life in the Now TV is brought to you by Love and Faith Community Church, 1410 East Indian Head Drive in Tallahassee, Florida. Sunday worship services, 845 a.m. and 1130 a.m. Lamar Simmons is the pastor. <laughs> 